Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Cheapo Knife Jousting Tournament. <laughs> Let me show you its features. This is sponsored by the Gearbest company, who saw my last video where I tested some of their knives and decided that they want to give me some knives for stress tests. And that's exactly what we're going to do. And, lords and ladies, because it's a little bit cold for the horses made out of rubber, we decided that this is an indoor tournament this year. And it will be held in Slingshot Castle. <laughs> Let me show you the combat arena. And this is the jousting machine. <laughs> Let me show you its features. First part, as you see, here are two opponents already in place. And they clash edge against edge on their own sleds. And the sleds are accelerated with rubber, of course. This is how they are accelerated and they will clash right here. So it's like that and they will hit in the middle of it. And both of them are accelerated by rubber. And in the first round we're talking single rubber. And in the semi-finals we will double it up and in the finals we will triple them. And now, then of course I have a release lever here that when I when I push the release lever, then both sleds will be released at the same time because there is an axis going through all the way to the other side. So, simultaneously, they will be released. And as you see here, they are gliding on monorails, very solid, and there is a block that will stop it at the end of the, uh, of the pull of the rubber, but of course, if the blades are solid enough, then the, uh, then the sleds will never reach the block here, but they will clash in the middle. And the axis here in the middle is left exposed, so that we will test its strength and also, of course, the stability of the blade. Since the uh, knives and also their sleds are not identical in weight, they are some really heavy and some really lightweight, some will be faster and some will be slower. And I thought about adding weights to the lighter ones, but I decided not to do that because that's the way how in medieval times the tournament worked. You know, there have been fat knights on fat horses and they were slower but they had more momentum. And that's exactly what's going to happen here. All of the knives cost under 15 euros on gearbest.com and you will find all of the links down there. This is the Genzo G704 uh, dash CA and this is also an exception because it has a different type of lock. This has an axis lock which means that you pull back this axis here and then you can close the blade and it automatically locks the uh, blade down here and gives it some spring which I like and of course in the open position it is really solid. It's a very sturdy knife uh, it has this camouflage looking handle I still hope you can see it. <laughs> the blade is very utility-like, but comfortable. Um, I can already see that it's very sharp from the flat angles here, of the edges. And it is really easy to hold. You have a belt clip, of course, and again, in this uh, knife, you can switch the belt clip to the other side, so you have two different positions. The knife costs all about 14 euros and 94 cents on gearbest.com. Link down below. Let's see how it cuts. Yeah, it's probably a little less sharp than the other models, but still, this is by all means a sharp knife. Yeah. <laughs> and now, in orange, the next contestant, the Genzo G743-1-OR, which I think is one of the coolest look looking knives in the entire selection. I love that dagger shaped blade here. It looks so pointy and vicious. I love it. And it also has a really thick liner lock. See how thick that is? And uh, it's easy to close, therefore it, it, it runs very smoothly. And it also has this opening knock here. So that is really nice. So this means that with a little bit of shaking, it's very easy to open it in one quick, you know, flick. Um, and also, I think it is very pleasing to uh, for the, to look at. It of course also has a strong belt clip, and it's just right size. This is 
to my taste, this is exactly the size a folding knife should have. Not too long, not too short. It's 15 and 46, so I think it's probably the most expensive knife in the selection. If you call it 15 euros and something expensive. <laughs> and it's also, well, I think now the Genzo and, and the competitors know how to sharpen a knife well. So this is really a sharp knife. Okay, round one, and <laughs> I think we have a loser. <laughs> So we have a winner, Sir Ganso G704. <laughs> Let me show you the damage. The most apparent damage, of course, is that the blade has been bent and the entire stopping rod has been kicked out and, and actually simply disappeared, I think. And, and you can also see what kind of a damage the edge took. And you can see that the winner also suffered. There is a nice little nick in the blade, but it held. The lock held. And you can see that there is a scratch and that is of course from the tip of the bent blade of the other knife. the San Renmu 7076. It's also a rather small knife, but beautiful. I think I like that line that goes through the handle here. I think it's a, um, yeah, it's a Mikada handle. Uh, it is a liner lock as well. Uh, it has, of course, also has a clip. You hold it just with three fingers and your thumb, like that. It gives you a really good purchase. And I also believe it's a rather sharp knife. For less than 10 euros, actually for 9 euros 35 exactly, you get a knife that is very sharp. Thin blade, viciously sharp. The Genso Firebird F708 and it actually has a very interesting axis because it's really large. And I think that someone with a smaller index finger could even put his finger through, but of course my meaty paws too thick for this. Um, it's a liner lock, so it has a very nice liner lock here. G10 handles. Um, the, uh, the clip cannot be reversed to the other side, so it's fixed on this side, which is fine, I think. It has a very sturdy uh, pin here to make sure that the blade isn't folding over. And what I like on the large axis is that it's actually reducing the play on the blade a lot, just because it has so much more leverage on here. All in all, I think it's a really cool knife. All right, let's do a cutting test. It is a very, very, very sharp knife. Very sharp. <laughs> let's see how it fares. It is the uh, San Renmo 7076 versus the Genzo Firebird F708. Let's see how it's gonna win. And go! Whoa! <laughs> it, these things always beat my expectations. Amazing. So this, I think, was the most spectacular combat fight so far because, again, the knife that I thought would be far stronger and far more solid clearly lost, but now we're talking about worthy opponents. 
in the slow motion you can really see that the impact was so hard that both sleds have been stopped at the same time and then were accelerated by the rubber whereas the more heavy knife of course wasn't completely in the middle so it had a little bit more rubber force left over so it, it accelerated from the point of impact a little faster but in any case the small knife that I thought would be blown away again dominated against the bigger opponent. Let's look at the damage. Now we clearly see that the Genzo actually is now completely jammed. I think the pin didn't fly away but it's kind of the, the blade squeezed underneath the stopping pin and therefore you can't go any way with this thing now. It's completely jammed. It's no longer a folder. It's a weird fixed knife now. And also because it bent back you can see that it's not a nick but the entire edge has suffered all the way up to the tip. Amazing. And of course the winner also suffered some damage. As you can see it's a very deep nick that it suffered from and that is because the uh, Genzo knife clearly cut along. It's really cut along this thing here. And so you can see yes steel can cut steel. <laughs> but it is absolutely intact. This is still a functional knife. Totally amazing. The winner! Now we have the Senrenmu 9054, which is an exception in the field because it's the only one that doesn't lock. This is because this makes it legal in many places in, in the world, including Germany, so you can carry this legally in Germany since it's not locking. But of course the shape makes sure that because of this little nook here, you cannot accidentally close as long as you hold on to the blade, uh, to the handle. And, of course, it has an attractively shaped uh, and rather uh, long blade. It's hollow ground, which I love on a knife. And this one also has a belt clip, but you can actually switch positions. You have four individual positions for the, uh, for the belt clip, which is very positive. And, of course, it doesn't have any kind of lock. No liner lock, no nothing. Let's see how it fares. And this only costs 12 euros and uh, 40 cents. Let's see how the hollow ground blade cuts. Wow. Yeah, that's the amazing sharpness. Sorry for that. That's the amazing sharpness of a hollow ground blade. You can really cut something with it. And now we come to the Sanrenmu 7089, which is also a rather small knife, but it has steel handles, which I love because I hope that this is going to give it extra stability during the stress tests. It is a liner lock knife. I like that it has this kind of swing out pin here because it makes it possible to let me do that again, snap it open like that. <laughs> and um, it's also a three finger knife, which is clear because it's so small. It has this little loop here, so you can put like a little paracord piece on it. Uh, and um, yeah, let's see how sharp it is. This one I think is the cheapest knife in the selection. It costs just 8 euros and 73 cents. <laughs> and it cuts with determination. Wow. Wow. Now we have a Sanrenmu versus Sanrenmu Brother combat. And this time it's the 7054 against the 7089. Let's see how they fare. And <laughs> what happened? Well, lords and ladies, now something completely unexpected has happened. The knife that I thought would be far weaker because it's so small is the winner hands down. Amazing. Let's look at the damage. The Sanrenmu 7089 actually 
survived this without any major damage. See, the cut in the blade doesn't even extend over the edge. So it's very easy to repair this knife and it is still rock solid. It didn't budge at all. That's probably because it's an all, an all steel frame. So the winner, Sun Renmu 7089. While the loser, I mean, look at that. First of all, the steel. See how much deeper the nick is on this one than on the other one. And then, of course, the blade completely gave up. I mean, the stopper completely gave up and see how hard it impacted on here. You can see that, can you see that even the, the little, you know, ridged uh, edge here, you know, hit the plywood so hard that it is really indented in here. Amazing. Yeah, this life is a goner. <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, lords and ladies, I hope you have liked this first day of the jousting tournament. Because that's it for today. Thanks and bye bye.